What's up guys and welcome back to another weekly episode of Building the Jedi Temple. So today we're going to get straight in with the episode. I get a load of stuff done and it's going to be a really exciting one so make sure you stay tuned till the end. Uh, I start working on the stairs as well as some more internal stuff within the temple. So I also get some lights installed in the mock which I'll show you right at the start so that's pretty cool. So if you do go on to enjoy today's video make sure to leave a like and comment exactly what you thought of it in the comment section down below. Subscribe if you're new and enjoy the video. Okay, so the first bit of progress I have to show you this week is I now have the lights installed in this little um, little ventilation shaft here. You can see there's a light panel just stuck up there on the top, which is, looks really cool. Um, this little shaft is going to have a pretty cool Easter egg in here, so stay tuned for that. I probably won't show you that till the finale, but um, yeah, then this room is uh, pretty much the same as it was. I built up a little bit more and got the light ready to go in here. Uh, then over here you can see I've done a bit of work on this room. Um, I've got a kind of like bed sort of thing. Uh, this was actually designed by Rich Boy J. I saw it in one of his prisons on uh, on Starkiller. And it literally just pops in place uh, onto those studs on the wall. It's a bit tricky to do with one hand. But um, yeah, you can see it's like built snot. And then um, going to have, gonna have some patterns on the floor. Um, not 100% sure what I'm going to be sort of having those patterns as. If that's going to be the final design. It's a bit... A bit plain, I was just playing around with what I could do. At the moment, I've got a ton more tan tiles and um, stuff like that coming in soon, so hopefully that'll be good. But I've got a little um, little desk in the corner there as well, or a little table or stand sort of thing. Um, and then I've got the light over here as well, ready for this side. So that's going to be pretty good. Both of these sides are going to have lights in, just like this room here. Uh, then, of course, yeah, that's pretty uh, pretty much what I've done in these two rooms. This was just a little, little um, stool I was working on. Uh, sort of design for a little, little Jedi stool, but um, that's not going to be included in the mock probably, it's just a prototype. I then started to work on prototyping the stairs, so I'll show you that in just a second. But I also did a live stream this week, so I have done a lot more work on the towers, so you can see these are a bit higher. Obviously it's hard to tell when you just watch it week to week um, how much progress I actually do, but I went through a whole tub of dark bluish grey pieces, so you can see I actually did quite a bit. Um, they're getting there, they're sort of almost at the height that I want them to be, so we're nearly there. I've got a few more bricks coming in, so hopefully I'll be able to finish that pretty soon. Okay, so I just got another delivery here, and you can see it's something pretty cool. It is another two Jedi temple guards. So if you're wondering why I bought two and then bought another two afterwards, uh, it's because I was going to go for only two in the mock and then I changed my mind and decided to go for four because they are so awesome um, that I had to do it. Uh, if you haven't already, go check out my last week's episode of Building the Jedi Temple where I showed them in more detail, but I'll give you a quick glimpse of what they look like now. But yeah, they come completely really well packaged. They're from a guy called um, M underscore ATT underscore seven on Instagram. Um, go check him out. I'll leave a link at the top of the description down below. I believe he still has a few left in stock. But yeah, he, um, he I think these are printed. I don't know whether he makes them himself, but um, these that's the guy I bought them from. So you can see they are super, super cool. They are UV printed, I believe, so you can feel a bit of texture on, on them there. Um, and then these, these um, hood pieces are actually the white ones, and he's just painted them, which look fantastic. So they look a lot more accurate than just having the white ones. He did offer me just to have the white ones, but um, I went for the... Um, the painted ones as well because they are really really awesome so they also come with these lightsabers that he has cut down to size and they are really cool they are um shorter than like sort of usual lightsaber pieces i presume they're sort of like just two one cut in half um on the regular lightsaber hilt there but you can see they are um pretty nice and he's finished them really well uh, let's show you some more progress on the temple over here on the other side so sort of like the inside of the mock uh, you can see i've done a bit more tiling and plating off here i've done all the way down here um, you can see this is a brick higher than this one. It's kind of hard to see, but over here you can see it. Um, I'm going to actually extend, probably extend this across the whole way, uh, but I'm not 100% sure on whether I'm going to, what I'm going to do now yet. Yeah, I've started working on what the stairs are going to be like. So I've done three sort of different designs for stairs. I've done this sort of tile design where it goes uh, overlapping tiles all the way up. Um, however, this takes up a lot of tiles and I don't know whether it's quite steep enough. This is the steepest method where it goes up by a brick each time. And then I've done this method here, which goes up by two plates every time. So uh, every every sort of one is uh, two plates higher than the other. So um, let me know what you think of these. I do really like this design here, but um, I'm not sure whether it will be steep enough to go all the way up. Uh, if I do do a sort of less steep design, like one of these two, then I have to do it sort of uh, slightly thinner and then have sort of it going up and then off to the sides either way like that. So that might look kind of cool, like a sort of V shape. Uh, but we'll have to see what I can do. Obviously, I've got this this thing in here now, so 
Um, I'm slightly limited with the sort of space I have to work with. Um, if I do do this design here, these bricks here will be red most likely. Um, so uh, if I do go the one brick at a time sort of method, then there will be um, sort of like red bricks on the front of the steps, if you know what I mean. Uh, so that'll look kind of better than, it will look more like this, but just a bit higher up. Obviously it's kind of hard to see exactly what I'm going for yet, yeah, as these are only just prototypes and stuff. But if you've got any other stair designs uh, or ideas I could use as the stairs, then let me know in the comment section down below. But yeah, if you've got any ideas for stuff I could put inside this side, then let me know. Obviously uh, in the sort of, uh, in universe or in the game, uh, in the Battlefront 2 game, you'd have the steps coming up here and then there'd be a Jedi, the sort of Jedi library would be here. Um, so that's what would be here in the actual game. So maybe I could do sort of like underneath, I could have have the Jedi library, but I don't, it wouldn't really make as much sense or it wouldn't look as good. Uh, one thing I probably possibly could do is start the steps going up and then where the steps finish, have it sort of go straight into the library and have like a really thin library, but uh, or just have like a slither of the library uh, in there, but I'm not 100% sure. There's definitely gonna be a room sort of underneath where the stairs will be, uh, all of this area is gonna be open. So I'm not, not gonna show, I'm not sure exactly what I'm gonna do yet, but. Um, leave leave some suggestions in the comment section down below. So and now turn my attention to the other side. You can see I'm sort of filler bricking and uh, placing off the uh, other side to make it the same height and starting to work on the stairs on the opposite side to where I just prototyped the other designs. Uh, the design that I'm going for here is uh, the one where it goes up by one brick each time. So um, I'm just sort of trying that with the red in between of the tiles. So it looks a bit more accurate to what I will do. Um, let me know what you think of this. I'm going to sort of do a couple of different uh, patterns on these stairs. So I need your guys' opinion. So stay tuned for that in a second. I'll show you what they look like. Uh, but yeah, it's looking pretty good and I'm glad I got some more work done, but enjoy the rest of the time lapse. Okay, so I've done a bit more work here guys. I've got three different types of stairs as I mentioned before, I think. Um, the three different types. I've also over here prototyped a bit more about this type here. So I've got um, the three different type, the three, uh, this main sort of type here where I go up by a brick every time. As you can see here, I have a single line of light bluish gray and dark bluish gray on the side. Uh, and then on this side, I have a, um, a bit of a thicker dark bluish gray line. Let me know what you think is nicer. Uh, I think I'm swaying towards this um, more than the double line there. But let me know what you guys think in the comment section down below. I think I will have to move it this way a little bit so I can get it all the way up as high as I can. You can see over here I've also done a bit of detailing on the wall and I've finally figured out how I'm going to do this centerpiece. I have a sort of like a um, a little shape in the middle there which I think looks quite good. I think that's like a what, hexagon or something, yeah. Um, and then um, this using cheese slopes and stuff. I finally figured out, I sort of, there were a load of problems I had. I'll probably show some photos before this. Um, where I was kind of like again this gap there wasn't quite meeting perfectly but I finally got it working but I think I've ripped up this side a little bit because I might I've been trying to make some sort of design with a smaller circle here but um, I'm not entirely sure how I'm going to be able to fit this in and I'm still running into some of the similar problems I was running into before um, so either I'll leave it flat or I'll put some lines in it but let me know if you should if you um, think of any details I should add to this sort of design for this floor here then of course here there is going to be just tiled off with uh, light bluish grey tiles when I get some more of those. So hopefully they will come in pretty soon. So that's just about it for the progress I get done in today's episode. However, there's a few other things I wanted to mention. I did in fact order a load of tiles for the Jedi Temple. However, I ordered them in white instead of light bluish grey. So I've had an absolute nightmare there. That was from lego.com. So hopefully I might be able to send them back and swap them or exchange them or get a refund. Uh, other than that, I might sell most of them to Brickling sellers if I can't because obviously I don't need 300 white tiles. Uh, so I've been an absolute idiot there. However, one another good thing is I went to the Lego store the other day, uh, the new one in Bristol. So check out my vlog tomorrow. That'll be pretty fun. Uh, but yeah, got a ton more stuff. These are just a couple of things I got from the Pickerbrick wall. Um, but things relating to the temple, I got a load of stuff. So uh, again, check out all of that in tomorrow's episode. So I can get a load of progress done in the coming weeks. So the next episode should be really good. Let me know what you thought of today's video in the comments section down below. I love reading your comments and hearing your feedback about the mock. It always inspires me and helps me to sort of come up with new ideas to put into the Jedi Temple. But thank you guys so much for watching. Again, if you are new and you've stuck around this far in the video and you're not subscribed, what are you doing? Make sure you subscribe to the channel so you don't miss out, miss out on all the future episodes. Thank you all for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Goodbye.